one. Thank you so much, Andrew, for that awesome introduction. That was like the coolest introduction ever. I feel so important. Can you guys see me okay? Hello? Can you guys see me? Yep. Okay, you can see me. Cool. I don't. I didn't fix my hair before we got started. So, but I just wanted to test this webcam function out. I didn't do it on my last webinar. So, awesome stuff. Well, I'm super excited to be here. I'm actually going to turn the the camera off because I know uh, one thing that that Andrew forgot to mention was my dashing good looks. I know it can be a distraction for some of you, and I really want you to focus on the content. I'm kidding, of course. So, but I'm not kidding about taking my face off the camera. I really want to zoom in on some really important things that I'm going to share with you today. Before I do though, I like to keep my webinars, my events very interactive and I like to have a lot of fun. How many of you guys like to have fun? Raise your hand, actually type in the box. I'm not gonna do the raising your hand thing that much. Type in the box, it's more personal. I can, I can have conversations with you. Okay, cool, I like to have fun too. In fact, I've created my business so that it supports my ability to live a fun and rewarding and fulfilling lifestyle. How many of you here would like the kind of business that gives you a fun, rewarding, and fulfilling life? Raise your, actually type in the box, say yes, me, that sounds awesome. Now here's the thing, is you've probably been on webinars like this before. I'm gonna take a, a shot in the dark here. You're, you're on Andrew's list. Um, you're probably on half a dozen at least other people's lists. You probably, you know, get on training events all the time. You've probably bought courses and things like that. But can I ask you a question? And I'm going to ask for you guys to be honest here. How many of you right now or at some point in your business have felt overwhelmed, frustrated, confused, not sure of how the pieces fit together, but you really have a big dream, that you really want to get out of the rat race, you really have the desire to create the kind of business that supports your lifestyle, that gives you the kind of freedom that you want, that allows you to have fun. How many of you right now are in that place in your business right now where you're just ready for the breakthrough? You're just done spinning around on the hamster wheel, you're done you know, with the frustration, the overwhelm, the confusion, and you're ready to really break through this year in 2014 you want to make this your year I want you, you to type in the box yes that's me okay awesome so we got Evan Christy Sean Melody Chris Ron Christy Andrew uh, Ian Bill John Ted Emily uh, Craig awesome okay fantastic you're in the right place because we're going to talk about some very universal systems and processes that work in any kind of business to get you excellent results, to get you results in the form of traffic, results in the form of leads, the results in the form of building a list, results in the form of sales because frankly uh, nothing's more important than sales. Would you guys agree with that, that really nothing's more important? I mean the, when the rubber meets the road is, look, it's when a transaction of value in the, in the form of money is actually exchanged, when, when it actually hits your bank account. How many of you agree that that's the ultimate litmus test to success, right? I mean, people could talk about traffic, they could talk about this, they could talk about that, but at the end of the day, if it doesn't translate into money in your bank account, then what's the point, right? And that's really what I wanna talk to you about. As, as Andrew said when he came on, you know, he, he saw my stamp on sales funnels, and I'm not sharing this to brag, I'm sharing this because, would you agree with this, do you think it's important that the person that you learn from, the person you listen to, or the person that you get advice from, or coaching, or training from, do you feel like it's important that they have accomplished what you want to accomplish? Don't you think that that's kind of pivotal? I mean, think about it though, because there's a lot of people that go to like, I don't know, in, get investment advice, for example. They go to uh, stockbrokers and and you know these these investment firms, and then they go and get advice from people who literally are salespeople. That's what they do. They sell, but they really don't have their own money on the line. They're not making investment decisions for themselves, but they have no problem selling you on making investment decisions that affect your future. Right now, a lot of people don't give it a lot of thought, but 
you know, they go get marriage advice from someone who has been divorced three or four times, who's a marriage counselor. They don't ask for, you know, hey, what, what about you? How's your, your relationship? Well, it's not relevant. I'm definitely, it's not relevant. I'm here to tell you it is, and I think my philosophy is find someone who's got what you want, do what they do, and you'll get what they got. How many of you really feel like that is a sound philosophy that maybe might work for you? If you really want to get somewhere in life, if you really want to have results, if you want to accomplish something, how many of you think that it makes sense to find someone who's already gotten there? Absolutely, right? It just makes sense. It's just good advice, right? And it's almost obvious. Yet here's the thing. There's a lot of people teaching online marketing. There's a lot of people teaching internet business. And there's a lot of, frankly, uh, people who've created systems who have no freaking clue what they're doing, and yet they are teaching other people how to do it. And that pisses me off. I don't know about you. And I'm not saying everyone's like that. You're in the company right now. Andrew is one of the good guys. He actually does this stuff every day. He eats, breathes, and sleeps online marketing. He's somebody who's a doer, not just a teacher. And I seriously respect that. How many of you respect people who do what they teach and not just teach it, right? It totally makes sense. And that's what this is all about. I'm going to get right into content. I've got so much to share with you guys. Before I do, though, can I ask you a question? What type of business are you in? Can you type in there if you're in network marketing and affiliate marketing, uh, maybe information marketing, if you are a service provider, if you have a professional services, if you have a brick and mortars business, uh, whatever the case may be, can you type in the box, let me know what type of business you're in. And I'm guessing a lot of network marketers, yep, network marketing, Christy, Andrew, information marketing, Deborah, uh, network marketing, Chris, Ian, DSD, not sure what that is, affiliate marketing. Uh, hey, Sandy, nice to meet you. I can't wait to meet you too. Um, info marketing, network marketing, affiliate marketing. Okay, cool. So I'm excited because... I love, love, love diversity. I love taking what's universal principles, and I like sharing with you how they fit into all different types of businesses. So no matter what type of business you're in, even if you don't have a business, by the way, how many of you are not sure what you want to sell, what you want to market, what you want to promote? Type in the box. Let me know. Okay, Sean, totally cool. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Ted, yes. Okay, here's the beautiful thing. What I'm going to share with you, these systems, the processes, the universal principles that you're about to learn can literally help you get clarity, help you get to execution and implementation, and help you to start getting results faster than anything else I've seen. I'm not going to just tell you that. I'm going to prove it to you. In fact, I'm going to share with you no matter what, if you don't have a product to sell, or if you do have your own product already, or if you have a network marketing opportunity or affiliate product, I'm going to share with you the absolute fastest path for getting guaranteed results in your business. How many of you have just thought to yourself, you know, if someone just could just share a system, just somebody, anybody could share a system that actually would work for me, I would be so appreciative and that's just, you know, that would just help me tremendously. How many of you have felt that way and you've been frustrated and let down? Absolutely, okay. So I want you to pay very, very close attention to tonight's content, to what we're going to cover here. And Andrew, thank you again so much for that introduction. It was fantastic. Uh, we've got a lot of ground to cover. Andrew said it would be an hour. I want to share with you, it, we are not going to be done for until exactly, it's, it's 9.15. We're probably going to be done at exactly 10.30, maybe 10.35. So give or take five minutes, okay? So about 90 minutes or so is how long this takes. Uh, we're 15 minutes in right now, so I'm going to jam as quickly as I can to make sure that we meet that timeline. But here's what we're going to cover tonight on this training. We're going to talk about the 100% success method. Okay, That's 100% success. We're the only ones that I know of that can create 100% success in the form of traffic and leads and actually getting people, building your list and actually creating systems that work in two days. Literally, we do have 100% success rate. Nobody else has that. We're going to tell you exactly how we do it, how you can do it as well. We're going to go over the three BHAPs. You're going to learn what BHAP is if you don't know or already know what it is. If you can guess, feel free to type it in the box um, what BHAP means. Okay, I'll tell you in a minute, but if you can guess what it means, that's awesome. Okay, we're going to go into the three-step plan for getting results 
fast. If you felt overwhelmed, if you felt frustrated, if you felt stuck, if you felt like you're spinning your wheels and you don't know where to go and what to do next, if you don't know how the pieces of the puzzle fit together, you're going to understand with complete clarity what you need to do to get from where you are, no matter where you are. If you're just starting out, if you've been struggling for some time, maybe you've got some success, but you've hit a glass ceiling. Maybe you're really successful, but you've hit a glass ceiling. Does not matter. You're going to learn the actionable things that you need to do to move to the next level in your business. Okay, that's how we work. We help people no matter what level they're at. We're going to share with you. We're going to reveal exactly what a six-figure business looks like. Who is excited about learning this stuff? Who is excited about really understanding if you really just want to put a check mark next to that here's how online business works from a very big picture standpoint and here's the actionable checklist for what to do how many of you are really super excited okay awesome great okay I love this guys thank you so much for for interacting with me making this you know super super fun for me and you all said you like to have fun I do too and it's fun for me to be able to talk to you guys and make this more of a dialogue more of a conversation cool Cool, cool, cool. You can raise your hands or type in the box, cool. Okay, awesome. Great, guys. Okay, so let's dive right in. Now, what's going to happen here is we are going to, I want to make this promise to you first. You, a lot of you said, you know, yeah, that's me. I've felt unclear. I, I don't understand the strategy, blah, 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 blah. Whatever the case may be, I want to make you this promise. You're going to have the plan from going where you are right now, wherever it may, might be, wherever you are in your business, to where you want to be in the absolute quickest time possible. I'm going to make you that promise. I'll back that up though. And by the end of the webinar, I want to hear from you. If you have more clarity, I want to hear from you. If you feel like you have more of a big of an idea of your strategy, not only that, but you know what specifically you need to do to focus on to build your business and start getting results now. Okay. Not a month from now, not three months from now, but what to do right now, starting right now to actually get results in your business. That's what I want you to leave with. That's my intention for our time together. I want you to plan for 90 minutes. We're already 15 to 20 minutes in, so we're going to jam through this stuff fast. Uh, I'm not planning on recording this. Maybe um, Andrew is. Maybe he's not. I'm not sure. If he wants to, to hand it out as a recording, that's at his discretion. I want to encourage you to stay here for the entire time. I also want to encourage you to take notes physically on paper. Let me do this, actually. I want to prove to you guys I'm not just talking smack here. I do what I say. I'm gonna, What I ask you to do. And I always have my trusty notebook with me, and I physically write things down, okay? This is, I have like 20 of these things. When I have ideas, concepts, can you guys see this okay? I know it's probably small. But whenever I have ideas or concepts or I'm on webinars like this one and I get on them regularly, I write these things down in these journals. This is a Moleskin book right here. I have dozens of these things, and I'm a believer in retaining what you write down, you retain. Okay, so does that make sense? Are you guys cool with that? So my encouragement is not to use a word processor, but to actually use something like a physical piece of paper and pen. I know it's crazy. We're in the the, the internet age, but uh, <laughs> I'm asking you to use a pen and paper. And there's good reasons for that. And it's proven. It's proven that uh, yeah, you like the duct tape, baby, Ron. <laughs> it's proven that. When you physically write things down, this includes goals, by the way. We're going to talk about goals, but this includes goals when you physically write them down, not type them, but write them down. Not only do you retain things fast, uh, better with your memory, but you have a more, you have a higher probability of actually accomplishing them. Okay, it engages many of your senses, and it gets you to. It's like glue for your subconscious. It actually activates. Forget the nerve, or sorry, the cells that it activates at the base of your. Uh, um, uh, what is it called? The reticulous? I don't remember. Anyway, but it activates cells that actually imprint that in your memory and your subconscious goes to work helping you accomplish your goals. All of this is done by actually physically writing things down. So there's lots of reasons. I don't want you to miss what's on the screen. So physically take notes, eliminate distractions, tie your kids up, throw them in the closet, duct tape them to the wall like this poor child here. I'm kidding. Of course, I have uh, four kids of my own. I love kids. I would never actually duct tape a kid. Uh, to a wall, but I thought this picture was kind of fun. And again, I like to have fun, guys. So we will open it up for Q&A at the end. Andrew, myself, um, of course, uh, Ray is here. And we'd love to hear from you about, one, how, how this helped you with your business. Two, 
We want any questions. We want to answer any questions about the content because this is crucial. If you want success in your business, if you want the kind of results that we've gotten, that you get this stuff, okay? I'm going to give you a mercifully short introduction on who I am and who my partners and friends are here that you see on this page. I'll share this with you. Andrew did a fantastic job of my introduction. I don't need to go into too much de detail, but we've each built seven and eight figure companies ourselves. Okay, that's you know great. That's wonderful. That's awesome. More important though, in my opinion, and remember we talked about you know find someone who's got what you want, do what they do, and you'll get what they got. Well, that's what we have done for others. Is we've not only done it for ourselves, but we've actually done it for other people. And that's our passion. That's what moves us. That's what gets us up in the morning. And we've made it our mission in life to share with as many people as possible how to actually achieve results. And we've created what we call the 100% success formula. Okay, we've offered this for five grand. Uh, we're doing something we've never done before. We might never do again. Uh, so we are, believe it or not, I know this is crazy, we are going to make an offer on this training tonight, regardless of what kind of offer we make, and what, regardless of whether you take it or not, what you're going to learn here is literally the foundation pieces, the building blocks, the, the keys to our success in all of our companies. I have had personally five companies. I've done multiple eight figures in sales online. My partners have done multiple seven figures in sales online. I've got students that have done six, seven, and eight figures in online sales. Between my students, my friends, my partners, my clients, we're probably talking hundreds of millions of dollars in success. This stuff works. It's universal. It works in every kind of business you can think of. I use it in a real estate company. I've used it in a software, information marketing, events, you name it. It works in every single industry. We've got realtors, we've got professional service providers like lawyers, uh, doctors even, uh, specialists, uh, chiropractors, you name it. We have worked with them to help them grow their businesses. So this stuff is universal and really, you know, how do we base it, how do we judge results, how do we evaluate, how do we evaluate whether it works or not? Results. And frankly, um, only results matter. They are the ultimate litmus test. Would you agree with this that results are pretty much, you know, what we're going for here? We talked about money in your bank account earlier, and that's how I measure results is, look, you know, there's lots of ways to measure results, but here's, here's my litmus test for results. Money and time freedom. Wealth and financial and time freedom. Would you guys agree that that's pretty much a good litmus test for success for you? And then really, you know, all of your wealth, all of your freedom is going to depend on how much value you contribute to the world, right? So if you want to be more wealthy, if you want more freedom, doesn't it make sense to, to be able to offer value to the world? Every single successful person that's maintained and sustained success in their lives, true success, has offered value of some sort. Maybe in our eyes it's not valuable. Maybe we're not um, in the market for, I don't know, dog grooming or whatever the heck it is that people sell, but other people see value in it, so they exchange money, value, for value. That's how the world moves around. That's, it's built on commerce, right? So that's what I want to talk to you about tonight. And, you know, I'm a believer also in learning from mistakes. And, you know, <laughs> we've had our fair share. I said I've had personally five companies, um, but I've launched closer to 15 different businesses to come up with the five winners that I have. Now, today, I'm pretty much 90% based on what I know, based on the systems and processes that I'm going to share with you tonight. I'm guaranteed uh, I'm about 90% uh, of the time I will have a success. And I can literally look at somebody's business idea and within seconds go, okay, that's going to work or that's probably not going to work. Am I wrong? Sometimes. You know, there's probably a 10%, and it's not because I'm super smart. It's not because of any of that. It's because I understand systems, I understand processes, and I understand evaluating what works, what hasn't worked, and just really being a student of success and business. And I want to share the biggest takeaways with you here tonight. So let's talk about failure, though. You know, we tried, one of the things that we tried early on, Andrew mentioned this earlier, uh, my business partner, former student, uh, Mike Dillard, you know, 
created a course called Magnetic Sponsoring. It was based to it was geared towards network marketers. Okay. And it was revolutionary in the industry. And he offered this and people loved it. He had a cult following. It was fantastic. But here's the problem. You know, he poured his heart, his blood, his sweat, his tears, his knowledge, literally hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of education that he invested in and advertising that he tried and things that he had done that, that came up with what we know today as magnetic sponsoring. And only 5% of the people who ever bought it did anything with it. Now, that's a 95% failure rate, okay? So we tried publishing our knowledge. And yeah, 5%, you know, that's probably better statistically than, you know, a lot of people in network marketing uh, for, as far as success goes. Ever did anything and ever, you know, accomplish anything using magnetic sponsoring, that's about 5%. That's pretty good, okay? In an industry that has a 98 plus percent failure rate after five years. So that's pretty darn good but it's still a 95% failure rate. So what we did was we tried live events, okay? We did events like No Excuse. My business partners that you're gonna hear one of them tonight, Raymond Fong and, and Fernie Ceballos started No Excuse to Summit because they said, you know what? We wanna help people. We wanna give people the opportunity to do what we did and learn from experts how to build their business, how to generate traffic, how to get leads, how to make business work in the online world. So they created the No Excuse to Summit to serve that end and you know what? Doubled the results, okay? So uh, uh, roughly 10%, maybe as high as, as 12 to 15% in some cases, uh, left No Excuses Summit, implemented, actually implemented, and got results. So that's a 1 in 10-ish shot of success when you come to an event, okay? That's still, that's great, that's 10% success rate, but it's still a 90% failure rate. So we thought, you know what, what can we do? We went back to the drawing board. We thought, okay, let's do coaching programs. Let's literally, let's be there for people. Let's answer the question. Let's show them how to do the stuff that we do every day. And here's the thing. There's only 15 to 20% ever got on all of the online coaching programs that we did and actually showed up and implemented. 15 to 20%. Everyone who showed up and did it got results. But that was only 15 to 20%, 20% on the high end. So that was frustrating because that's still an 80 to 85 percent failure rate for us. So you know what we did was we thought, what can we do to condense what we teach through eight weeks or ten weeks of online virtual coaching? How can we how can we just take it, condense it into a, a curriculum that gets people results and do it in one weekend? And so we got all the way up to a 35 percent success rate on our first few workshops that we did. I think 2010 or 2011 maybe. Um, but that's still a 65% failure rate. And when we talk to other people, the best that we've heard people have was 25 to 30%. So we still beat them, but that wasn't good enough for us. We wanted to get at least 75% of the people actually getting results. I know that's lofty. I know it seems for some unachievable, but we thought, you know what? I don't care what other people say. I don't care what hasn't what worked in the past. I want to know what we might do differently. So we went back to the drawing board. We implemented uh, some a few things. We got at our last couple of workshops between 90 and 100%. Our last workshop, we did 100% success in the form of traffic leads and actually getting sales. How many of you would like how how many of you like the idea of spending two and a half days, okay, setting up systems that get you nonstop traffic, nonstop leads and sales that happened for you on complete autopilot no matter what you're doing. How many of you think that would be freaking awesome? Because that's what we're talking about tonight, right here, right now. So I want you again to stay attentive. So what we did was we thought, well, what is it that, that keeps people from getting the results that they want? And number one, and again, this is adults only, guys. I'm going to use curse words strategically. Don't worry, I'm not going to be a, a truck driver or sailor type and just curse for no reason. But here's the thing. One of the big, hairy, audacious problems, for those of you that guessed correctly, big, hairy, audacious problems, it's stuff that seem to be bigger problems than they really are. Number one is the BS, the bullshit between people's ears, okay? So it's mindset. Number two, the complete lack of a strategic approach to business. Number three is an overwhelming number of skills that people think is required to be successful at online marketing. Now, honestly, 
Okay, I want to share some symptoms with you of the BS between people's ears. If you get the mindset right, if you know with complete clarity what your goals are, you understand the concept of smart goal setting. Actually, let's do this. Okay, I want to write this down. Okay, smart. I want you all, I have a homework assignment for you. Look up smart goals. Okay, smart stands for specific, measurable, attainable, or achievable. Uh, realistic or relevant and on a timeline. There's a lot of different interpretations of SMART, but there's a specific way of setting goals and the more specific, the more measurable, the more achievable or attainable, the more relevant and realistic, the more that they're based on an actual timetable, the more you get SMART with your goals, the more chance you have at succeeding with your goals. When I shifted to this model, I think it was 2008, 2009 of SMART goal setting, I had about a 70 to 80 percent success rate of achieving my goals when I said I would. Whereas before, it was about a 20 to 30. Uh, one year it was about 50, um, but I accidentally implemented a lot of the smart strategies. So just this alone right here can put more clarity for you in goal setting, okay? How, how does that sound, guys? Is that is that something that you haven't heard before that might help you with getting really specific, creating measurable, attainable, relevant, and realistic goals that are actually time-specific how many of you think, how many of you have set goals like that before? How many of you have never heard of this concept before? Okay, a lot of people have not heard of this concept before. Awesome. So this is huge, okay? This is a huge breakthrough for me. I want to get back, though, to, to this stuff right here because one of the biggest problems is the crap between people's ears. And another thing that I want to share with you is you know, again, I'm going to put hands down really quick. Raise your hands if you feel a little bit confused about what it takes to build your business, your specific business online today. Raise your hands if you feel like you're a little bit unclear, like you're a little bit overwhelmed, like there's just so much information coming at you from different directions. Raise your hand if you feel like, you know, there's a lot of shiny objects and services and products and traffic strategies and this and that coming at you from all directions. Raise your hands if you're not sure about how all the pieces of the puzzle fit together. Raise your hands if you're not 100% clear on what you need to do right now today to start getting results in your business. Raise your hand up. Raise it proud. <laughs> it's okay. It's totally cool. Everyone starts here. And all of these, feeling stuck, feeling overwhelmed, feeling frustrated, spinning your wheels, pissed off because you want to quit your job, pissed off because you want to stop waking up to a damn alarm clock, pissed off because you're spending more time working for a job making someone else rich than you are with your family and the people that matter to you most, pissed because you're not taking vacations, you don't have a business that supports the fun in your life, that gives you the kind of lifestyle and the time freedom that you want. That's what we're talking about here. All of this comes as a result of one thing. There are symptoms of not having a strategic plan we're not taking a strategic approach to building your business. Now, I want to share with you what your strategy should be based on, the principles that are literally the pieces, the strategic pieces of the puzzle that have worked for every single company I've built, every single company my students, clients, friends have built. These are the pieces that need to be in place, and you can actually run it by your strategic plan and go, does this fit into my strategy? Does anyone understand the difference, the distinction? Can you make the distinction between opportunistic thinking and strategic thinking? Does anyone know what the difference is? When you make a decision opportunistically and be honest, who here is a sucker for a good sales letter? Who here, I'm raising my hand right now loud and proud. I, my hand is literally, here, I'll show you. My hand is up. <laughs> I am a sucker for a good sales letter. How many of you are like me? Be honest. Okay, raise your hands, type in the box. Yeah, I am too. I totally am. And you know what? For years, years, I'm talking at least two years, I made my buying decisions because I chose to buy things based on, well, do, do I think this can make me money? Do I think that this is going to work for me? Okay, that's how I made my buying decisions today. And it's okay to be a sucker for a good sales letter. In fact, when you're a student of sales, when you're a student of internet marketing, of conversion, 
it's important to be studying this stuff. However, I make my buying decisions much, much differently now. And the question I ask myself, instead of being opportunistic and saying, well, do I think I can make money? I say, you know what? Is this going to fit into my strategy? Is it going to help me get to where I want to be quicker? And how specifically is it going to help me attain my strategy? So I buy strategically now versus opportunistically. And all of you, if you're on here right now and you're watching this, you can make that switch in. can help you get those results. Is that cool? Are you guys getting this? Sweet. Okay, awesome. So Tony Robbins, really good guy, uh, has this saying. He says 80% of success is psychological and 20% is mechanics. I would go a step further. I would say 90% is mindset, okay, and 10% is skill set. 90% is mindset, 10% is skill set. The reason I say that is because if you're 100% clear, if you understand this part, if you're smart about setting your goals, no other challenge is going to get in your way. The technology is a non-issue. Not understanding online marketing is a non-issue. You're going to know the right people. You're going to find the right people. You're going to find the right strategies. You're going to find the right resources to help you achieve your goals no matter what. All the other stuff is irrelevant when you have, or at least 90% of it is already assured once you have the mindset piece. But we can't really do much about mindset, okay? A lot of people, frankly, come with a lot of baggage. I had a lot of baggage when I started online marketing. Shit, when I got started, I was like, dude, I just want to make some damn money and get out of this crappy job I'm in. Okay, that's how I thought. How many of you can relate with that and be honest? It's okay. We all start somewhere, right? How many of you just think, you know, I just want to be able to just get out of my job. I hate this. I don't want to be a slave to corporate America. I don't want to be shackled to a desk, right? Totally, and that's totally fine. And here's the cool thing that we did is we took the mindset piece out of it, help people get results, and then it, it, it basically eliminated the mindset problem altogether. Does it mean you don't have to focus on it? No, you still have to focus on it, but the mindset piece, at least temporarily, is out of the way of getting results. So that's the big, hairy, audacious problem number one we solved. Big, hairy, audacious problem new, two that we solved, lack of strategy, okay? And that's huge for people because, again, the symptoms, you know, overwhelm, confusion, frustration, not sure how to get to where you're going, being really compelled by other people's messages and marketing, Here's a truth for you. I'm going to actually write this down as well. I think this is really important. This is a profound truth. It can be used to your advantage or it can be used to your demise ultimately. And it is this. Confusion breeds consumption. Can't spell here. Confusion breeds consumption. So here's the thing. Isn't it true the more confused, overwhelmed, and unsure we are about our lives and about our businesses and about how to build a business, the more products we think we need to buy, the more events we invest in, the more things that we buy. It's true. And you know what? I'll, I'll share something with you. Marketers, copywriters, they all know that and they use that to create sales. Okay. Now, there are good guys and there are not so good guys. Some people use this to provide solutions that actually work, okay? Maybe they sell the sizzle, okay, but they offer the steak. Maybe they sell people what they want, but give them what they need. Those, frankly, are the good guys. And what's the number one thing people need? What's the number one thing people need? They need a brainwashing, frankly, because a lot of us come with bullshit in our heads that holds us back and we sabotage our own success. But they lead with the shiny objects or the things that are sexy, right? That's true. Okay, those, there's the good guys, then there's the bad guys who, create, who, who leverage the confusion to sell more things that get people more confused. Okay? So there's a good way of using influence and there's a negative way of in, using influence. We're going to talk about that here in a little bit. Okay? 
But lack of strategy is huge. I want to share with you strategically how to build a business so that you can do it with clarity. And yes, you'll still invest in products, but you won't consume products. In other words, you won't buy them just to put them on your shelf. You will strategically invest in your business and actually execute and implement and get results. Okay. Now, here's another huge thing that people face, a huge hairy audacious problem that people face is the skills required, the utter sheer amount of things that you have to learn that people think they have to learn to be successful in business. There's a lot of stuff there. You know, I'm going to share with you how this is irrelevant, okay? All this stuff, you know, you don't need to do all this to have success, okay? Eventually, most, many of these things you'll have to implement, but I'm going to share with you how you can get results fast, and then as you go along, worry about this other stuff. But no wonder people get confused. No wonder they think, oh my God, I have to learn how to drive traffic. I have to learn direct mail, pay-per-click, keyword research, blogging. I have to learn how to build casual pages. I have to learn social media. I have to learn how to clean my list. I have to learn how to set up email broadcasting. I have to learn all the technical stuff, the shop cart setup, website maintenance, video production, outsourcing, all the stuff that has to do with making money. I've got to do enrolling reps. I've got to do back-end marketing, front-end marketing. I've got to do webinars. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. I've got to do content, copywriting, writing eBooks. books I've got to do administrative stuff like that. It's no freaking wonder that when we come into this business thinking, oh my God, this is all daisies and sunshine, that we go, holy crap. <laughs> we throw our hands in the air and we go, you mean I got to do all of this to be able to have success in online marketing? Okay, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be that difficult. And you know what? We thought, we went back to the drawing board and we thought 35% success is not good enough for us. Here's a novel idea. Let's actually solve these problems. Let's do this in two and a half days. Let's get people results. And so we created our $5,000 six-figure workshop, okay? Um, and from as a result of our first several workshops, we had people that walked out of there that never had success before walking out with leads, with traffic, with leads, with sales, their complete sales funnel set up in two and a half days, okay? Like I said, our first couple workshops, we had great results by our last couple. We had 90% results the one before last. The last one, we had 100% results at our workshops, and there's a reason for that. Okay, We took all the big, hairy, audacious problems, removed them as an issue, and we have case study after case study. People setting up six-figure strategic campaigns, literally on the spot with our help. Here's Caesar real quick. I don't want to highlight every single person, but Caesar in two and a half days, actually in one and a half day, set up a campaign from start to finish. It took him two hours to actually implement to set it up. And to this day, he's still getting leads. He's still getting traffic. He's still getting leads. He's still getting sales every single day. He's making six figures from one campaign he set up in our time together. How many of you think it would be freaking awesome to get a campaign set up with us in person and start getting results, six figures in results by the end of the year? Okay. To this day, this is, I think, two years ago almost that he set this up, and it's still getting him these results on autopilot without him having to babysit or do anything else. How many of you think that would be cool? Raise your hands, type in the box, let me know you're with me. Okay, this is what's possible when you get the help from people who've already accomplished what you want to accomplish. Okay, we have people that never have had any results online before, like crazy. It was like one after another, getting, you know, success, getting leads, getting sales live and in person. So that's how we accomplished the 100% success in our last workshops. Let's talk about specifics though, because as we talked about before, I want to share with you how you can get these results in your business by implementing what we teach you how to implement. So let's dive in. Again, I'm talking, I'm going to go a little bit big picture, then we're going to zoom in and get more specific. Cool? So I want to talk about what you can do to start implementing what we teach, okay? Here's the three things that we need to be focused on and talk about each of these things, okay? Especially number one and number two. Number three comes after you start getting results. You gotta be able to evaluate and improve. But let's talk about the first two right now. Number one, okay, we talked about strategically investing in education. There's only a few things that you really need to learn to be able to make your online business work. I'm gonna share with you what those things are. They are specialized knowledge, specific knowledge that you need to focus on to be able to get results. There's only three things you need to know to start getting results. There's not 100 things, there's not 30 things, there's three things, and that's it. 
Okay. Once you understand this, your buying decisions, your investing decisions are going to be completely different because you're going to know how the pieces fit together and what you need to focus on to start getting results. Okay. Number two is taking strategic action. Okay. Once you have the specialized knowledge, actually putting it into play. Okay. This can take you two days. It can take you two weeks. It can take you two months. It can take you two years. I want to share with you how to do it as fast as possible. Okay. This is literally how we've built our businesses. This is literally how I could come up with an idea today, or Ray can come up with an idea today, and by the end of this week, have money in the bank account as a result of that idea. It's how to execute on this stuff very, very, very quickly. Okay. So let's talk about each of these things, starting with specialized knowledge. Okay. There's only three things you need to learn to start getting success, traffic, conversion, and leverage. I want to talk about each of these things. Okay. And there, it's like kind of like a three-legged stool. Okay, we'll talk about specifics, what traffic sources we recommend, we'll talk about what conversion means, we'll talk about leverage. I want to do that right now, as a matter of fact, but I want to do that outside of the PowerPoint slide. I'm going to actually exit from the slides really quick. Have a little fun here with you guys. So let's start with traffic. Okay, this is actually the easiest of them all. Okay. People think, I just need more quality traffic and I will get success in my life. Okay? They think this is the answer to all of their money problems. They think that you know, this is how you generate leads. I'll tell you this, this is it, without number two, all the traffic in the world does not matter. And here's the good news. How many sources of traffic, let me ask you guys this, how many sources of traffic do you think you need to be able to make five or six figures online? How many sources of traffic that, that you need to really master Gosh, I can't get to my questions box here. Type in the box, tell me how many you think. Okay, Christy says one to two. John says one. Chris says three. Tom says four. Dwayne says one. Sandy says one. Three. One. Three. One. Twelve. One. Okay, to make high five figures and six figures, you need one good source of traffic. Does that mean you stop at one source of traffic? No, because traffic is, let, let me just write this down. How many sources of traffic do you need? This is important. However, here's the thing, is you need to get really, really good at one source of traffic first, and to be stable and be able to make sure that you're uh, sustainable in your business, you need about two, but you need to start with one source of traffic, that's it. We'll tell you two of ours in a moment. We'll tell you how we got 100% results with our two favorite sources of traffic, okay? However, without the next skill, nothing else matters, okay? The next skill I'm gonna share with you, without this skill, God, I hate that automatic numbering thing, it's pissing me off. Without this next skill, nothing else matters, and it's conversion, okay? Conversion is the absolute most important skill of out of all okay you're here all of you let me ask you this how did you end up on this webinar what was the process that got you to be on this webinar really think about how many steps it took for you to be here okay I'll share the steps with you right now okay there were multiple points of conversion all right you said yes when you opened an email from Andrew Okay, you saw a subject line, you said yes, that was a conversion, you opened. Okay, you read some copy, Andrew wrote something in email, you read it, maybe he, you saw an ad on Facebook, whatever the case may be, then you clicked, okay, that was a conversion. There was an offer there, right? The offer was, when you in exchange for this click, I'll give you this information. You clicked, you landed on a page, okay? That page said, hey, I want you to show up at this event so that you can learn this, that, and the other, right? Okay, that was a conversion. That was number three, okay? Number four was actually being here. So you said yes, not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. How important now is conversions, okay? How important do you think conversion? Andrew forced you at gunpoint. Tim, that's hilarious. So Andrew use the concepts we're sharing with you and you're the proof that this works okay every point of your sales process is a conversion point every time you ask for an action from somebody 
there's an offer for an exchange of value. Maybe the value exchange is curiosity. Maybe the subject line was something that got you curious, right? Then you read something and you thought, well, that's pretty compelling. I've got to click through and see what this is all about. You click through and the carrot was at the end of the stick and you were like, I got to have that, right? So understand that, that conversion is the absolute most important point of marketing. When you understand conversion, the traffic is easy, okay? Let's talk about number three because this is how you create scale. This is how you create growth. Number three is leverage, okay? Number three is all about systems and processes. This webinar you're on right now, how many of you think that this webinar is based on a process, on a system? Okay, I'm going to put hands down. How many of you would like to be able to get on a webinar like this, okay, present value that people love and they're like, oh my God, this is awesome stuff, and be able to close between 15 and 25% of those people um, who show up at a webinar consistently around 20% of the people who show up on a sale. How many of you would like the system for that? On a really targeted audience, 50% close rate. How many of you would like to do that consistently? How many of you would like the templates? How many of you would like the formula for being able to do that? There is a system for this, okay? This is how you create leverage. It's how you create scale. And guess what? It works when you do it live. And do you think it works when you don't do it live too? Absolutely it does. That's the beauty of systems and processes. It gives you leverage in your business. And here's the thing. How many of you have read Robert Kiyosaki's second book, the ones that's, that's actually my favorite book, uh, Cash Flow Quadrant? How many of you have read that, Cash Flow Quadrant? Okay. Uh, you need to read that. I'm going to make a recommendation for a couple of books. It's Robert Kiyosaki, Cash Flow Quadrant. Okay. Read that book. He talks about the four categories that every single person is in. And you're in one of these four categories. Let me actually do this. I'm going to have a little fun here. I got a blank piece of paper. I'm going to use my really great artistic skills. This is scary for those of you who've seen me draw before. But I'm going to do it anyway because I think it's fun. So he breaks it down into four basic. You fit in one of these categories. Okay, you're an employee. This is an E. Okay you're self-employed, you're a business owner, or you're an investor, okay? Most people, 80% plus, are right here. They're employees. And when people think, well, I want to change that. I don't want to work for the man. I want to work for myself. They shift over to this quadrant right here, okay? And they become self-employed, okay? Right here, I think it's 10% of the wealth or something like that, less than 10% of the wealth. And right here is 90% of the wealth in these two quadrants. But guess what? To be an investor right here, it takes money to earn money typically, right? It takes more of a learning. It takes the quickest way, the best quadrant to be in for the average person to be able to quickly shift over to the wealth is to be in business for themselves. How do you do that? Well, you learn some very simple things. You learn how to drive traffic. You learn conversions. And you learn how to create systems that create leverage for you. That's what business is. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to everyone? This is huge, okay? This is an important thing to understand. You really have two options, become an investor or become a business owner. That's your ticket for getting out of the job you hate, for having the lifestyle freedom that you want, for being able to spend the time doing what you want instead of what other people dictate you do. So it's really important that you understand this. And that's all number three. That's leverage. Okay? So, leverage is all about systems and processes. And the most ex powerful example I can share with you of a system, of a process, and this is the difference, by the way, between self employed and a business owner, is because you can learn number one and number two and still be self employed. Okay? But the most powerful example that I can give you is a sales funnel. A sales funnel gives you leverage. If you're a consultant, a coach, if you're an author, an information marketer, if you're a network marketer, an affiliate marketer, how beautiful would it be to have a system that gives you the kind of leverage 
that create sales for you on autopilot. That's what sales funnels do for you. They are what free up your time. They are what allow you, like me, to be able to go to Ireland for two weeks with some of my best friends that are also marketers and come back and actually have made more money while I was away than we made the week before when I was here. That's all with leverage and the best way to create leverage online in your online business is with sales funnels. Is that making sense for everyone? Cool. So how do you do that? Well, I want to talk about specifically what that looks like. And I want to share with you what a six-figure business looks like. If you thought it was complicated, if you thought building an online business was difficult, I'm here to tell you otherwise. I'm here to share with you how simple it really looks like. Everyone here is one sound offer that works away from a six-figure sales funnel. Now, what does this consist of? It consists of those three components. Okay? It consists of traffic, conversions, which come in the form of everything from your capture page, which is the gateway to your sales funnel, which is a very important point, to creating irresistible offers that work, to email follow-up. Everyone here is this system away. And here's the beauty, and I'm going to talk about this more in detail. You really only need one skill set to be able to create a job replacing income, multiple five figures, even six figures. If you get an offer that works, maybe it's not your offer, maybe it's somebody else's to start with, you can have a multiple five or six figure business. All you do is drive traffic to that. Now, I want to share this. Okay, The more pieces that you own and control, the more money you make. Okay, This is a profound truth. The more sales funnel components you control, the more money you will make. Okay. And this is absolutely universally true. To give you an example, uh, last month I spent a day, myself and, and my partner Matt Crystal spent a day with two awesome people, Andrew and Kate, and they were making they were making six figures just by driving traffic to an already existing system. Okay? In one day, we created this part and this part and these parts right here, and they quadrupled their income within a week to multiple six figures that they're tracking for. They made multiple five figures in one day. They made five figures and multiple five figures in one week. How many of you think that would be freaking awesome? That's the power. And guess what? You start, you do this methodically, you do it one piece at a time, and then it's not so overwhelming. You know, a lot of people like to set these big, hairy, audacious goals, and they go, holy shit, I want to make six figures, per month in my business. I want to do that by this time. And if, You know, that's awesome. But here's the thing. Let me ask you this. If you learned how to drive really quality traffic to an offer that works, maybe it's not even your own offer, do you think you can convert some of those into leads and some of those leads into customers? Do you think if you had the ability to generate traffic on demand that you'd be able to do that with the right offer? I'm here to tell you that 100% yes is the answer. You can. You're one good offer away from success. And again, the more components you have, the better. So here's the thing. You can learn all this stuff yourself. You can invest in education. And we've actually created courses that go through all this. I'm going to tell, tell you how to get those for free here in a little bit. But we've created these courses that teach this stuff. Here's the thing. 5% of them ever do anything with it. So we wanted to go a step further. And by the way, it would cost you at least $2,500 to get that kind of specialized knowledge if you were to go buy these courses, these offers from us. I want to share with you how we can help you take strategic action and start getting results. And here's the thing. I want to give you this formula. Write this down because this is the steps. And it's totally backwards, totally counterintuitive. Uh, Andrew said this when he introduced. He said it's a little counterintuitive. This is backwards from what everyone else teaches. I'm here to tell you this is how we literally have an idea today, and by Thursday, we launch it, we start making money before we ever do any product creation, before we do anything else, and it all is based on this formula I'm about to share with you right now, so write this down, okay? So everything starts with understanding. A lot of people think they have products or services that they're trying to sell, and it all starts with the problem, okay? So find the big, hairy, audacious problem in your marketplace. I always give examples of this. We are an hour and five minutes in, so I want to jam through this. I'll quickly give an example. When we talk about solutions, which is number two, find or create the solution, a lot of people like to skip the big, hairy, audacious problem. It's critical if you want to convert sales that you understand what's going on in people's minds. We talked about 
you know, influence and the power of influence before, well, you can't effectively influence people if you don't know what the problem is because you can't speak to them and what's on their mind. You can't really create mind share with them if you can't really basically read their mind. How many of you felt like when I was saying, you know, how do you feel, how many of you were stuck? How many of you feel overwhelmed? How many of you were buying product? How many of you guys felt like I was kind of getting into your head when I was talking to you earlier? Type in the box, don't raise your hands, I want to get answers from you. How many of you felt like, I was like, oh my God, that's me. Okay, we've got Tim, Christy, Chris, Casey, do, okay. Heck yeah, that's me, makes sense. Okay, fantastic. There's a reason. It's because I understand the problem intimately. I understand it personally because I suffered that problem. Okay, and if you didn't suffer the problem, you have extra work to do on the market research side. I'm going to share with you how to do that in about an hour and a half. Okay, how to understand the problem. I'm gonna, I'll tell you in a minute how you can do that. Next thing you do is either find or create the solution. It doesn't have to be your solution. Number three, craft an irresistible offer. Number four, set up your doorway or a gateway to your sales funnel. Maybe it's a capture page. Maybe it's if you're selling products at Amazon. Maybe it's the registration process for Amazon. Whatever the case may be, there's always a capture mechanism in place. Number five is find people, right, that have the problems and put your offer in front of their face, right? So let's talk about each of these things, okay? Here's an a important thing to understand, and a lot of people, they're like, I'm trying to sell this juice, or I'm trying to sell this widget, or I'm trying to sell this thing, and they're not able to sell it. What the heck is the problem? How come they can't sell it? Well, it's because they're trying to sell a solution, or they're trying to sell a product, they're trying to sell a service, and they're not focusing on solutions. How many of you hate being sold to? How many of you go to a car, have been to a car dealership or something like that? And you're like, holy shit, get me out of here. I just walked into the Viper pit. <laughs> How many of you hate that pushy salesperson? Be honest. Type in the box. Let me know. I can't stand it. I hate it too. Nobody likes to be sold to. But how many of you love to buy? Be honest. How many of you see that? Ladies out there, I'm talking to you. How many of you see the you know, uh, buy one pair, get one free shoes, and you're like, oh my God, I gotta get that. Limited time only, uh, you know, whatever. 20% uh, off store wide. You know, we love to buy, but if we had a pushy salesperson standing outside saying, hey, I got this, I got this great deal for you. I got this, buy one, get one, one pair for free. Let me show you, let me bring. So it's a totally different thing. And here's the problem, is a lot of people, old school people especially, think, well, I just have to be a better salesperson. No. What you have to learn is you have to learn how to help people make buying decisions, not sell. And it's a lot more fun. How many of you think that this webinar I'm doing right now is work for me? How many of you think I'm having fun doing this? How many of you think that, how many of you feel that I'm passionately sharing something that I'm, I love to share? And how many of you are benefiting from what I'm sharing? I love doing this. Okay, I'm not selling anything. I'm offering value and I'm sharing a way to get a specific result. Okay, I'm sharing solutions with you. I'm not selling products. Okay, now here's another profound truth. The more pain that people have, the more motivation they will have. I want to share this over here because this is really important. Okay, does anyone know? Can anyone tell me the two factors that determine that motivate people. Share with me the two biggest factors that create that are, are the basis for every decision we make, every action we take. What are the two things? Pain and pleasure, Dwayne. Good, good. Pain. Whoops. Pain. Ah, darn it. Pain uh, motivators. I'm going to share a couple of things. Pain and pleasure. Okay. Pain and pleasure. Now, those are present tense, right? Those are present tense. If it's pain or pleasure, right? Pain and needs, pain and pleasure. Now, there's future tense. And it's, can anyone guess what the future tense version of pain and pleasure is? Okay? Anyone? Okay. I will help out with this because that's a hard question. Fear and desire. Okay? We fear things that cause us pain, and we desire things that create pleasure for us. Now, the most powerful motivator, can anyone, does anyone know 
And pain comes in many forms. It comes in loss. It comes in lack of desire, right? That creates pain. When we have to get up tomorrow, when the alarm clock goes off and wakes us up out of a very nice sleep and we have to get up and, you know, put our clothes on, it's a butt crack of dawn, that creates pain for us because we're lacking what we desire, which is a freedom from that alarm clock, right? So, so pain comes in many, many forms. It comes in lack uh, uh, of, of having, you know, pleasure. It, it comes in fear for the, for the future, right? But understanding pain and pleasure, getting people in the state of feeling the pain that they're in and what the pleasure could be or feeling the fear and perceiving what could be in the form of desire, the more effective you are at that, the better you can influence people to make buying decisions. Let me ask you this. How many of you think influence is evil? How many of you think influence is evil? I'm putting hands down. Is influence evil? Nobody raise their hand. One person raise their hand. Cool. Okay. Influence. For those of you that did, the couple that did raise their hand, I'm sharing this with you right now. Influence is absolutely neutral. It's not evil. You're either an influencee, you're influenced, or you're the influencer. And here's the beautiful thing is influence can change the world in positive ways, and it can also create atrocities that are the greatest atrocities that ever, ever happened. Who is the, uh, a negative influencer? Who's an evil influencer that you can think of? Hitler. Dwayne, that's right. Hitler. Okay, was he influential? Absolutely. Did he influence people to commit atrocities and evils that are unthinkable today? And at the time, people think, you know, at that time, they thought, you know what, this is the right thing to do. Or maybe they ignored that, that small voice in their head. But regardless, that influence created results, right? Horrible results. Terrible results. However, that was influence being utilized for the purposes of evil. Now, let me give you another example. What's the opposite of that? What's an, a person that's influential that's positively impacted the world? Name as many people as you can, or one person. Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, Gandhi, Jesus, Mother Teresa, Albert Einstein, GFK. So these people are all masters at influence. Would you agree with that? Above all else, the way that they got their messages out, the way that they created change in the world, is they were able to influence. And you know what? Um, John Maxwell said this. He said, uh, leadership is influence, right? So influence is absolutely the most important skill you can learn. And that's conversion in a, in a, in a sentence, isn't it? So conversion and influence really are interchangeable, right? I mean, they're synonymous for the same thing, and leadership is influence, right? So that's the beauty of understanding direct response marketing principles. And when you learn this stuff and you create a sales funnel the way we teach, that's the power of this. Now, so that's, that's the, to, I got off on a little bit of a tangent, but I just really wanted you to understand the big, hairy, audacious problem and how critical it is to finding the people, finding your target audience, to crafting effective copy to, to target them, to get them to take action, like you took action to open the email, to click on the link that Andrew sent you, to register on this webinar and be here for this life-changing training tonight. So that's what this is all about, is understanding these very basic principles. We're going to get specific with these. We're going to zoom in and get very tangible. Now, a lot of people say, well, I don't know what problems. I don't know what product to offer. I don't have a solution. I don't know where to start. Well, one of the best ways to start is to start with you. You're all here for a reason. You all wanted to start a reason or start a business for a reason. You all got into this business and, and, and wanted to, to achieve some sort of results. Maybe the product or service that you're offering gave you results and you believe it in it so much that you want other people to have those results. And if you don't, you're you have the wrong product or solution or company. But if you you have to 100% believe, and let's jump into that actually. Almost every leader in, let's say the information marketing, network marketing, affiliate marketing industry always starts with other people's solutions. They will get really good at one skill, we'll say traffic, okay? How many of you, if you got the exact blueprints that we use on a daily basis to generate traffic, how many of you with our help, personal one-on-one -on -one help, if we showed you our systems and we sat down with you and said, hey, this is how we do it, and you looked over our shoulder at our campaigns, 
How many of you think you could master a one traffic skill set if we just sat down with you? Absolutely you can. 100% of the time, you can do that. And here's the beauty, is that once you learn that one skill set, you plug it into an offer that works, you have instant results. You're building yourself an asset, a real asset in the form of a list, and you can add other pieces to your sales funnel later and get more success later. You only have to learn one skill set to get results. Okay. Now, once it's time to offer the solution, here's the thing. You have to be in integrity with what you're offering. I could not do what I'm doing right now if I didn't believe 100%, if I didn't know with 100% assurance that I could help you. I couldn't do this with integrity. How many of you know people who have offered, made offers to you and you could tell that there was something out of whack or there was, they were just lacking integrity with what they were saying and how they were, who they were? How many of you felt like, you know, this person that's pitching this opportunity to me you know, might have good intentions, but they really just don't believe in what they're selling. And so you didn't take action because of that lack of conviction, right? Absolutely. Can you make sales without 100% conviction and belief? Sure, you can. Can you have sustainable, profitable success? I don't think so. Because in order to grow your business, you have to, you have to look at it as something you're passionate about. And that comes with conviction and belief. Okay, so to start with, whether it's your own product, whether it's your own service, whether it's other people's products or services, this is going to be your core offer to start with. Okay, that's really, really as easy as I can make it for you. Now, when I asked you earlier, you know, when I asked how many of you wanted to learn the processes for doing webinars and be able to close people on webinars, it all boils down to this. Okay, it boils down to how to craft an irresistible offer, and there's a formula for crafting an irresistible offer, okay? My buddy Mark Joyner wrote this book. I highly recommend it. It's called The Irresistible Offer. Now, let me ask you, is the title here irresistible? Do you believe this is irresistible? I'm going to say it out loud in case you can't see it. It's called The Irresistible Offer, how to sell, excuse me, your product or service in three seconds or less. Had to drink my Sierra Nevada. Yep. Absolutely, but what makes it irresistible? Well, I'm going to share with you the litmus test of how to craft an irresistible offer and how to test to see if it's an irresistible offer. A lot of people go, well, I don't understand why this isn't converting. I don't understand why I'm not getting clicks on this ad. I don't understand why nobody's opening my emails. I don't understand why nobody's opting into my capture page. I don't understand why any, nobody's buying my products. It all comes down to crafting an irresistible offer. Every single offer has to be irresistible. In other words, the perceived value for the action you're requesting has to outweigh what the cost is, whether it's time or money. Hope that makes sense. But here's the thing. Here's at the, at the end of the day, your offer is a powerful promise to relieve a problem, to solve someone's problem, to reduce or eliminate pain, to bring them pleasure, and to, to compel them with a desirable solution. Does that make sense? So that's what this is. Now, what determines an irresistible offer. This is something you're going to want to write down. So get prepared to write this down. I'm going to run through this quickly. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, this is the checklist right now. Now, you must, absolutely 100% must have at least three of these in order to have an irresistible offer. Okay, I'm going to name them for you. It's got to be simple, desirable, simple to understand, desirable, unique, Believable, speedy, and scarce. Those are the five principles behind an irresistible offer. Now, having three of these at a minimum is ideal. If you can get four or five, you've got an irresistible offer. Now, when you have your, your prospect's pain in mind, your ideal prospect, and you can answer yes to all or most of these things, you have, my friend, an irresistible offer. When you're and, and it's always, always, always the math doesn't lie, right? If you've got an ad that presents an irresistible offer, maybe it's curiosity. Maybe it's, it's just desirable. It's using just one of these for the ad. Well, the offer itself is just a click, so you don't have to use all five of these, right? Maybe your capture page has three of these, right? The offer, when it comes down to making a buying decision, you need to have four or five of these, right? Now, how many of you, is this making sense? Did you guys write this down? Everything you do needs to have 
as many of these as possible. So this is truly important. You want shortcuts, you want formulas, this is it right here for crafting an irresistible offer. Once you do this, everyone here is one irresistible offer away from six figures in their life. A six-figure business. All you need is one irresistible offer. That's it. You can have the best product in the world, but if you can't craft an irresistible offer to sell it, you're out of business. I don't know how many people I know of or heard of that have great products, great services, but don't know how to craft offers to sell those services. Okay? So, that's the litmus test. Watch this. I'm going to make an irresistible offer. You can see what one looks like here by the end of this presentation. Okay, it can be summarized in a few sentences or less. Here's the thing. The amount that you're asking for, whether it's a little bit of time, a click, or an opt-in, each one of those is going to have to be summarized and, and condensed as little space as possible. Think of a capture page if you're asking for an email. Think of an order page. Back in the old days, direct mail marketing, there was always a rule for direct response marketers, for direct mail marketers, and it was this, that the order page must be able to stand on its own. In other words, people have to know what is it, what can it do for me, how can it help, help me, and how do I get it. All of that had to be on a small, tiny half page of paper, an order page. That is an irresistible offer. Is that making sense, guys and gals? Sweet. Let's move on. We are an hour and 20 minutes in. I want to talk about the next step. This is so, so important. A lot of people in the online world, they don't do this. They will create an offer page or a product page. They have no way of capturing people's information. Okay, This applies no matter what you sell. Maybe you don't do it in this exact format. Maybe it's not a capture page. However, you still need to capture. You still need to be able to capture as many people as possible who visit your page and convert them into leads because there's always a process that people take before they buy. Let's take this into terms we can all understand. Okay, let's pretend like you're in the mall. Okay, you're in the mall, you're walking around, okay, you're in the mall for, you know, maybe you're just there with someone that is, you know, there for a specific reason. You're not there for a specific reason, but you're a person in the mall and you have interest in things and desires and fears, and you see a sign, you're, you're walking by and you see a sign that pulls you in. Maybe you're really into, I don't know, what hobbies do you guys have? Type in your hobby. Type in something you're interested in, you're passionate about, a hobby you have. Type it in, type it in. Okay, flying, Chris. Self-help, fitness. Okay, golf. Okay, cool. So. I'm going to stop right there. I've got, I got one, two, three, four. I've got flying, self-health, fitness, golf, organic foods. I've got lots, golf, gardening. Okay, let's, let's stick with um, flying, self-help, fitness, and golf. Those are good ones. So if you're walking, let's say you're in the mall, and you're walking by a window, and you look in to this window, and you see a book on the simple three-step solution to whatever your handicap for golf. I don't know. I don't, I don't know this terminology. I'm not a golfer. Sorry, you guys. Is that going to catch your eye if you're a golfer, right? Now, if you're into flying, let's say you're about to take your pilot's license, or maybe you're in the market for a new plane. Let's say you're in the market for a new plane, and you see um, uh, a flying consumer report, top three best buys for airplanes. I don't know, for Cessnas or whatever the heck it is. I don't know. I'm shooting from the hip here, guys. Fitness. Okay, let's say fitness, it's a specific reason, like losing weight. Um, the, the simple, fast, safe, and effective way to lose 10 pounds per week um, without starving yourself, right? So if you saw this stuff in the window, okay, your traffic at that point, your foot traffic, right? You're walking by a window. You see an uh, offer of something that interests you. You stop for a second. Okay, you've just, your interest has been captivated, right? And that's enough for you to walk in and go, I got to look at that book and see what it's all about. So you walk in, now you're a lead, right? Okay, you walk in, now you're a lead. Once you pick up that book and you start flipping through it and the desire builds, you're now a prospect, right? And you're, let's just say you're in, you're, you're walking, you're reading this book and you're just about to walk out and then you see, maybe it's the golfing book and you're, you're looking at how to reduce your handicap and then you see uh, um, the top, three best clubs you can use for whatever, a magazine or something like that on golfing, and you're like, oh, God, i got to get that too. 
you, you, you grab that, you're on your way out, you think you're done, and you see this, this hilarious keychain or something like that on, that only a golfer would appreciate, whatever it is. Here's the deal. You went from traffic to lead to prospect to checking out and buying a customer and buying more stuff than you even came in for, right? Because of this process. Now, how does this translate in the online world? It's all about generating targeted visitors, right? Getting the targeted eyeballs on your ads or on your emails or whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter what the medium is. We teach you all that stuff, right? Getting them to say, oh, that's interesting. And then getting them to walk through the door or enter their information in a capture page. Is this making sense, guys? So the capture page is literally on the off, in the offline world. In the online world, it's just like walking through the door. Okay, this is where the relationship starts. It's where you get a, a cold visitor and turn them into a lead and build a relationship so they become a warm prospect. And that is where the power is. That is where your asset lies, is your list, and most importantly, your relationship with your list. This is where it all starts right here. Okay? So, most people make this really difficult. I'm, I, I can tell you, Ray can tell you, Andrew can tell you, the simplest pages work the best, okay? You, if I gave you the templates for writing headlines, I've literally got tons of templates, do you think you could write the copy for the capture page? If I gave you fill in the blank templates for anything you want to sell, do you think you can fill in the blanks and, and come up with a compelling headline? Answer yes, Casey, Ron, awesome, Tom, John, okay, Dwayne, Jamal, okay, so no, you don't think you could, okay. So if I gave you my templates that have converted lead, visitors into leads in probably three dozen plus industries that are proven to work, can it work for you if I gave you those templates? I hope you said yes. <laughs> One person said no. <laughs> All right, cool. So absolutely. Now, how many of you, be honest, how many of you have let technology stand in your way. How many of you thought, well, you know, I'd love to do this whole online thing, but, you know, building a website, building capture pages, all this autoresponders, all this technology stuff really scares the hell out of me. Okay? Yep, totally me. Yep, that's me. What if I shared with you systems that could have you building a capture page in as little as five minutes? Maybe the first time it takes you 15 to 20 minutes. Would you believe me if I, if, I sh if I told you that no matter who you are, no matter how technically retarded you might think you are, that I could share with you how to create a capture page in 20 minutes or less? Would you believe me? Okay. I, there's not one time that I've ever failed at this, and I've had the, I hate to say this, I've had the, okay, you know the dummies guides? <laughs> I've had who the, the, like the epitome of who those books were written for. I've had those people that I've helped create capture pages in less than 20 minutes. Now, once you get the process down, you can do it in five minutes. Here's the thing. There, I'm going to give you a few options for doing that. Two of them um, are going to cost you some money. One of them is absolutely free to you that I'm going to make you an offer for here in just a little bit. The first one's lead pages. I think it's the simplest to use. Okay? I think it's either 37 or 67 bucks a month. It's a great solution for you. If you just want to quickly get a capture page going, it's fantastic. That's all it is. It's just the capture page builder. That's it. But it's really easy to use. It's great. Um, a lot of people use it. I think we've used it in the past, and it's fantastic. Optimized Press is another option. It's like 297 bucks to get unlimited license. That's fantastic. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's great, but there is a learning curve with that. Okay, It's a little bit more complex than lead pages. It does other stuff too, though. If you want to build out full sales funnels, that's great. The third one is Elite Marketing Pro. This is what we use for our 100% success method. Okay, Everyone who's gone through our workshops in the last, I think, four or five times, maybe six times, has used the uh, Elite Capture Page Builder. Okay, Five minutes, you can have a page up. I build them all the time, just for fun, just to show people how easy it is. You can integrate with any autoresponder. You can even set up webinars like this. It integrates with webinar systems, everything, by using this Capture Page Builder. Plus, it includes a bunch more stuff I'm going to actually tell you how you can get that absolutely free. Cool? So how many of you now think technology is really scary and difficult? If I could share these, these systems with you, if I gave you the, literally sat, sat down with you, showed you how to do this in, in a few simple steps, do you think you can do this? 
think Andrew's unmuted here. Oh, no, he's not. I think that's Ray. Okay, cool. So a lot of you said yes. Fantastic. Now I want to move into number five. I want to talk about specifically what traffic sources we recommend. And again, the easiest step of all is traffic. We only spend like a half a day on getting these set up and then maybe another half a day on optimization and advanced stuff. But really setting these up and getting traffic and leads takes about a half a day, maybe a little bit more than a half a day. Uh, Ray is going to take about three to five minutes to talk about our, our favorite traffic sources that we use for our 100% success method. Now, let me preface this by saying this before Ray kicks off. You might hear things that are a little complex for you right now. They might be a little bit difficult to understand right now because we're basically, you're drinking from a fire hose. You're getting a lot thrown at you. I want you to understand something, though. These methods, when you look over our shoulder, you see us doing it. We help you with it. We walk through the, 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 the steps for getting started and setting these things up. It's so, so much easier to do it. With that said, I'm going to turn it over to Ray for just a minute to talk about um, our most uh, successful traffic sources that we do with new people. Awesome. All right, guys. So first off, actually good news for you guys because you guys are obviously coming from Andrew, who's taught you guys a lot about Facebook. And uh, one of the traffic methods we recommend is actually Facebook as well. And as you guys know, Facebook has a ton of traffic. It's actually pretty simple in concept to get started on. And that's one of the one of the characteristics, one of the things that uh, we look for when we actually chose these traffic methods we want to teach. Are they quick to execute? Are they effective? And is there a lot of traffic? And Facebook definitely qualifies under those criteria. The second method, which we get to in the next slide, is pay-per-view. I don't want to get bogged down by details. Pay-per-view essentially is pop-ups, okay? And pop-ups basically happen uh, when you browse to a website, obviously, and obviously another website comes up as an as an advertisement in front of that website, okay? Again, don't want to get bogged down by details, but in basically, essentially, there's several big major PPP networks that has millions of subscribers that are basically waiting to be marketed to by you. So imagine, Tim, let's go into the next slide. Imagine what happens is, let's say, you know, you're the person you're targeting, he or she, let's just call him Bob. Bob goes to a website like, for example, Amway, Amway.com. You as a marketer has the ability to tell a PPV network, hey, whenever somebody visits Amway.com, okay, I want my ad to show up. Now, why would that be beneficial to you? Okay, one, because you know exactly, for the most part, who visits a website like Amway. Hey, Tim, we're going to the next slide. Uh, you know who they are. They're probably odds are a uh, network marketer. Okay, so if you're in the business of selling, basically, let's say, an uh, educational course like how to sponsor 107 reps into your business in 60 days, that will be highly targeted to people visiting Emily.com. Let's take a step further. Let's say you're in the weight loss industry, okay, and you're selling ebook on how to lose weight. Imagine now if you're able to target, and you will be able to with these PPU networks, target people who go on JennyCraig.co or WeightWatchers.com. So now you have control over basically whom or what websites you want to target based off of your idea of who actually visits those websites. Because odds are people who visit JennyCraig.com will be interested in your product and how to lose weight. Okay, And simple, your pop-up, as you can see in front of you, can be just your capture page. All right? How to personally sponsor 107 reps into your business 60 days or less. Do you think that people who visit Amway.com most of them are being network marketers who are trying to build a network marketing company. Don't you think they will be interested in how to learn how to sponsor 170 reps? And that's one of the beautiful things about PPV, aside from fitting to our criteria of it's simple to get started, easy to get stuff, and quick to execute and implement. Okay? This is why we're able to get people leads in basically those two and a half days because these are easy and quick to set up. These methods has tons of traffic and little competition, so we can get cheap leads and a lot of it as well. You're basically able to leverage these websites, these marketers. You're leveraging their marketing abilities because they're attracting certain type of people to their websites. And you're able to come in essentially, uh, we like to call it borrowing your traffic and borrowing your leads. Cool deal. You all set, man? Yeah. Cool. So just to, and, and Ray, fantastic job of, of illustrating what pay-per-view is. And I'll just share, like, no matter what you're offering, there's always competitors out there, no matter what your offer is, your product, your service, whatever. I'm going to share with you how to craft the offer. Ray and Andrew and you know a lot of other contributors are going to share with you how they 
really leverage traffic, like pay-per-view is, is the big example we love, on how to get your exact messages in front of the most targeted eyeballs possible. For example, could you imagine targeting people about to order a competitor's product and have your pop-up come and say, hey, wait, before you order this, you got to check out that. <laughs> or to get better results with this, uh, enter your name. So you're, you can craft a, the most targeted message that it almost people can't help but say, oh my God, I have to get this. They opt in and then you can present your offer and you have their undivided attention. It's how you siphon traffic from the highest traffic sites in the world. And so when you do this the right way, just imagine how powerful that could be for you. Really, and look at this capture page. How hard is this to build? You could build this in five minutes using our templates. So that's the beauty of this. Tim, you talked about leverage at the beginning of the webinar and uh, you're absolutely right. Actually, one of the things we'll teach is basically for you guys is how to leverage other people's hard work. I mean, Amway spent millions of dollars, not billions, on building their brand, building subscribe uh, subscription base, right? Building databases of people who are interested in Amway. They went and did a lot of advertising for you to get people, get eyeballs to the table, get people visiting that website. And with PPV, you're able to come in and swipe a portion of that basic subscriber for yourself. Same thing with any other website you want to, to basically target. Imagine affiliate traffic, right? ClickBank has a lot of affiliates if it's a popular product promoting their offer. If you know what that product is, you can go and find all these affiliates who are paying money on, you know, for traffic and able to come in again, siphon some of that for yourself. So you're creating leverage for yourself by borrowing other people's hard work. And I think that's pretty awesome. And that's one reason why we love PPV and we love teaching it because it's so simple and so elegant in execution. Yes, sir. 100% agreed. And so here's the thing is a lot of these things that we've shared with you are concepts. You're starting to get it maybe conceptually. Okay, you're starting to understand this stuff. Now, I want to give you some very specific actions to take to start getting results. And I shared a few of these things throughout this process. But I want to go ahead and just give you a checklist right now. And, you know, we talked about the big, hairy, audacious problem. We talked about you know, find or create the solution. Okay, so once you have your big, hairy, audacious problem, all you need to do is find an offer that's converting, right? And again, we're doing this a little bit different. We're doing this a little bit backwards than most people teach. They talk about traffic first. They talk about this. They talk about that. You know what? It all comes down to conversions. It all comes down to an offer that works, okay? And then number two is after you've got an offer that works, you've got a, a hungry market whether it's your own or somebody else's offer that works, um, now it's time to get eyeballs. Get your offer in front of eyeballs. So focus on learning and mastering traffic. How many traffic sources? Type it in there. How many traffic sources do you need to know to get the kind of results? Exactly, John, one. Tim, one. Good name, by the way. So that's, that's it. And then, okay, a very simple sales funnel. What does a simple sales funnel consist of? <laughs> It's so easy. Okay, a simple sales funnel right now for the average person starts with a capture page, maybe a thank you page where it's like, hey, thanks so much for subscribing. Before you go anywhere, you need to check this out. It's really been beneficial to me. And follow-up, email follow-up. That's a simple sales funnel. We can have that set up for you in less than a day and a half. It's, I think it's one day, right, Ray? One, one and a half days, I think, where we have that set up. Uh, but one and a half days, yeah. One and a half days. So you, you can have all those pieces set up. That's what you need. One offer that's converting, uh, focus on, on traffic, create a very simple sales funnel so that you can control the, the initial uh, um, conversion points, as many of those as possible, right out the bat, and start building your number one asset, which is your list. Okay. Then four is get leads, make money, optimize, and improve. Right? That's what you focus on next. And then here's the thing. The, remember, the sales funnel is your, is your leverage, right? When The more pieces of the sales funnel you own and control, the more money you make, right? So that is the power of having this system in place. Now, here's a question for you. Can I share with you a way that you can get my personal help, you can get Ray's personal help, you can get Andrew's help, you can get Fernie's help, you can get some of six, seven, and eight figure earners helps with implementing 
and actually doing this in person with us. How many of you would like to hear about how you can do that, how you can get our help, and how we can not only give you our help, but essentially guarantee you results? Okay. Casey, James, Tim, Jamal, Chris, Evan, uh, why not? Mo, Ted, yes, already there, fantastic. Okay, Dwayne, okay, cool. So I want to share with you how to do this. Now, for those of you, pay close attention, by the way, for those of you who are students of marketing, who want to learn how to sell on webinars, okay, the process I'm taking you through and have been taking you through is a process I will teach you. Okay, I will teach you step by step. Not only will I teach you, but I'll give you my templates like this one right here and share with you how you can use it to sell any product, any service, any opportunity. So students of marketing, which I hope everyone here is, students of copywriting, pay close attention to how I'm taking you through this process right now. Okay, So I asked you a question, would you like help with that and a guarantee that will help you generate traffic and leads or we'll pay you $200. Is that an irresistible offer, by the way? Okay. I am so confident. I know we can help you. We've done this many, many times. The last couple workshops, we had 100% success, 90% the one before last, 100% at this last one. Now, I'm going to guarantee, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. Ray is going to put his money where his mouth is. We're going to guarantee you that you're getting traffic and leads. You're going to have your sales funnel set up just like we talked about, or we'll not only refund your money, but we'll pay you 200 bucks. Okay. Is that an irresistible offer? Is it, has it, it piqued your curiosity? Has it gotten you interested? Absolutely, you guys are right. So I want to talk about that right now. And so I shared with you uh, earlier how Ray, Fernie, and I, you know, we designed the workshops uh, that we did. We started doing, I think it was end of 2010 or beginning of 2011, we did our first series of workshops. We got 35% success rate. We got up to 100% success rate. We offer those workshops for $5,000. That's literally what everyone who has attended our workshops, most of them have paid. Some of them have got a, a special discount. But the least we've ever charged was $39.97 to attend one of these workshops. I'm talking about people you've probably heard of have been to our workshops and learned these systems and strategies from us. Now, when you go to our workshops, you sign a non-disclosure agreement that you can't teach some of the specific things that we teach. Okay, and literally everyone that we've offered this to before has paid at least $39.97. Most pay $5,000. You're going to get it for a tiny percentage of that. Now, people that have attended our workshops, when we told them what we were going to do, they thought we were crazy. We're taking the same format that we use at our workshops. We're doing it at No Excuses Summit number five. Now, because of the amount of labor intensiveness for us, because we are offering this guarantee to you, we cannot make it as big as it has been in the past, so we're making it more exclusive. And here's what we are going to do is we are going to instantly remove all of the biggest problems, all the big, hairy, audacious problems that have been your way, everything from technology, lack of strategy, um, all the other stuff that we talked about, all the mindset stuff doesn't matter because we're going to get you into action, into results, and we're going to give you everything that you need to, to start, launch, and profit in your business starting right away. That's our guarantee. I'm gonna. We're hour and forty minutes into this, uh, into our time together. I want us to open this up for Q and A, so I'm gonna jam through this as quickly as possible. Uh, I gotta cut this down a little shorter, right? This one took longer than the last one, but uh, I want to share with you what you're gonna learn in about an hour and a half. You're gonna under, understand your big hairy audacious problem. Less than an hour and a half, you're gonna know exactly who your market is. You're gonna know exactly what pain they're in. You're gonna know what the problem is, and you're gonna understand with complete clarity, complete clarity what their big hot buttons are. Then we're going to go into uh, finding and creating your or creating the solution, whether you already have a solution that you want to offer, which we've got people coming in in many different industries. We've had people come in from everything from how to brew beer to how to sell real estate to um, chiropractors to you name it, network marketers, affiliate, everything that you could imagine, software providers. We talk with you how to find or create the solution and quickly get your offer to the marketplace. How to identify your USP, really important. How many of you know that there's a lot of competition online right now? Yeah, right, absolutely. So what's the thing that makes you rise above everyone else? How do you swim above 
this, you know, everyone's swimming in the sea of sameness. How do you rise above? How do you rise above all the noise? How do you become a unique selling? How do you create a unique selling proposition for your market? Well, we're going to share with you how to do that. Uh, for all three of these steps, we're going to, it's going to take us about two and a half to three hours. Then we go into actually creating. This is where we start implementing, okay? This is where we actually create our headlines together using our templates, using our proven to convert templates. Okay, we all do this together. Then we go into building our capture pages. We do that together. Then we set up our advertising campaigns with you. Okay, and we guarantee, and I can't stress this enough, we guarantee you get traffic and leads. Now, day one, the entire focus is literally monkey see, monkey do style. Here's what we do first, second, and third, click by click. Okay, we get everything set up that we just talked about. Okay. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Day two is when we together launch your traffic campaigns. We set up your ads, first Facebook ads, your first pay-per-view ads. We even set up breakout rooms where you can, during lunch, work in groups and get help. Okay, again, simple step-by-step, -step, look over our shoulder, watch as we do it, and let us help you do it. It's that simple. Okay, Saturday afternoon, we go into advanced training. This is where you go, now that you got your campaign set up and running, now we talk about optimization and conversion and increasing your results. Sunday morning, we move into newsletters. Okay, this is important. A lot of people don't know how to get emails open. We teach how to get emails open. A lot of people don't know how to convert uh, people that are opening their emails into clicks and sales. We teach you how to do that. We go into depth. We give examples, case studies, templates, all that good stuff. Then, who? how many of you said you wanted to learn how to sell, a proven way to sell on webinars where you can close consistently about 20 to 25% of sales online. How many of you wanted to learn that? Okay, I'm going to share with you this process. I've invested tens of thousands of dollars in learning this stuff, okay? Hundreds of thousands of dollars in my online sales education over the years. I'm going to share with you everything that I've learned. I'm going to put this process into place for you. You're going to have an understanding. You're going to see it in action just like you are tonight, but you're going to see it with my basically walking you through what I'm doing and how I'm doing, how I'm taking people's minds, how, why I'm saying what I'm saying, what they're thinking, how it's literally step by step by step how to convert sales. Now, it can be used for webinars, okay? I'm going to give you another template with checklists, with uh, everything that you need to be able to craft sales letters. How many of you bought stuff from sales letters or sales videos before? How many of you want to be able to do that? Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to share with you my formula for doing those 26 steps. I've only shared 25 on my most recent version, uh, and my most recent workshops that we've done together. We've shared the 26 steps for creating these sales letters with samples. We can sit down and create a sales letter with these templates in a couple of hours. That's how powerful these things are. So that's what you're going to get. You're going to get templates, all that stuff. Then you're going into advanced training on ad optimization and conversion. This is where you really hone in on your traffic generation, and you can scale and grow it. Now, I'm going to go into this guarantee right now because this is something I've never seen anyone else offer before. You literally can't lose. There's no risk to you whatsoever. And here it is. If you are not getting traffic, if you're not generating leads, if you don't feel like you got at least 10 times what you invested by lunchtime on Sunday, myself, Fernie, and Ray will refund 100% of your money, plus we'll pay you 200 bucks in cash just for your time and trouble. That's our guarantee to you. We know this can work for you. If you've been looking for a system, for a proven solution, for getting results online, this is what you've been waiting for. We are going to personally help you do that. We're sweetening in the pot with some awesome bonuses. Uh, this is for reference for you. You can get it right away and put it into use so you can have a shortcut so you can actually get a lot of this stuff done before you show up if you're really motivated. If you're the type that needs help, that's fine. We can help you with that. However, look at this stuff as the most valuable reference library you can possibly have. Buying these alone you're investing, again, thousands of dollars, okay? Bonus number two, by the way, this is huge, okay? This is literally what we teach in our workshops at your fingertips. Lazy Lead Thief, this is the pay-per-view strategies we use. We're going to be using a lot of this course material in the event itself. You can do this stuff before you show up. People do and have from just using these courses. However, you also have our help. Retail value is 997 Here's a cool one. Remember I said you can invest in optimized press? or invest in um, leadpages.net is the other one. Uh, you can invest anywhere from $37 to $67 a month or $297 for, uh, for access to a capture page builder. Well, I'm going to give you not only a capture page builder, but a sales page builder 
a traffic generator, a uh, content marketer, all that stuff, plus your own professional website presence, all included, and I'm going to give it to you absolutely free for 30 days, okay? For 30 days, and it's much, much less than both of those. If you decide you want to keep it, it's actually less than both of those solutions that you saw before and offers you a lot more. How about that for value? You get the Authority Blogging System Pro. If you want to use this as a professional website, great. If you want to use it as a blog, great. If you want to use your own domain, you can. You can customize it, change it, and it works for any product or service. No matter what you're selling online, you can unleash a flood, a flood of targeted traffic to you. Uh, if you want to do videos, great. We teach you a lot of video marketing. Um, no matter what you're doing, if you're using social media, you can use this to really leverage your time and generate traffic. The other thing, the thing I'm super excited about because this is what we use every single time in our workshops is what people are using right now today to build their list, to make money. It's the Elite Marketing Pro Capture Page Creator Pro. This is how you set up with our templates and this software is how you set up capture pages in minutes. Results, blah, blah, blah. This is important. What's working now? Everyone, I believe, in continuing education. How many of you know that you need to be sharp and stay on top of what's really happening in the industry to be able to be successful? This right here is one of the most valuable resources that we've had. It's been around since 2009, I believe. And we've its predecessor, which was called Inner Circle, was around, I think, in 2008, 2007. So we've been publishing this stuff for years. You get access not only to the latest, most current, timely, what's working for six, seven, and eight-figure earners that you've heard of, people you know and heard of. I think, Andrew, have you been featured yet, or are you going to be featured soon? Yeah, I've been on... Uh, I think, I think uh, Andrew is either... In, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, you've been in it a couple times. So every leader, yes, we can. Every leader has been in here. Every, I mean, you can't get, this is the most valuable treasure chest you can imagine for online marketing, for conversions, for recruiting, for sponsoring, if you're in network marketing, for affiliate marketing. I mean, everyone is, has this. All six, seven, and eight-figure earners have that resource. You get it absolutely included for free for an entire year. Or I'm sorry, for 30 days. Uh, you can keep it if you want. Uh, we'll even give you a discount on the entire thing. Here's everything added up so far. We're talking about $6,800 plus in real world value. That's $6,800. If you were to buy this stuff separately and buy the capture page builder, buy the uh, content marketer, buy the traffic cheats, buy the pay-per-view course, buy the ultimate, you know, all the stuff that we just talked about, you'd spend $6,800 plus dollars elsewhere. You can get it with us in an unbelievable low one-time investment. Okay, this is huge. Now, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Knowing that you can get a huge discount, spend way less, invest way less in your business, and get these kinds of results, would it be worth it for you to spend $6,800 just to be able to generate targeted traffic at will? I want you to say yes in the box if you think it would be worth it, because we're talking about getting as much traffic as you want, as many unlim unlimited number of eyeballs as you want to any offer you want, is it worth it to you to be able to learn one traffic skill and master it? Absolutely, right? Now let me ask you this, is it worth it for you to spend 6800 bucks to start building your number one asset? Let's say you don't do that well and you only get 15 leads per week. Okay, that's not very good, that's like two leads a day, right? Let's say you just totally suck at everything <laughs> or you just implement, you do what what a couple of people have done, gone to the workshop and just implement and then leave it alone. And let's say you only get two leads per day. That's 15 leads ish per month per week. That's uh, 60 leads per month. We're talking 60 leads, 60 eyeballs on whatever it is you're offering. Let's say only 10% of your leads convert. No, let's say only 5% of your leads convert into sales. That's three sales per week or on per month. Three sales per month on a complete auto autopilot. How many times with three sales per month on complete autopilot, how, many how long would it take for that $6,800 to be worth it? That's if you do everything halfway. You do half as good as tra on traffic as you, as you should be able to do when you walk away. You do half as good as converting the traffic into leads. You do half as good at making sales as you should do. You're still talking about three sales on autopilot per, per month. Is it worth it for you? Absolutely. That's free money. Now, go into the real world. We talked about the, two, the four quadrants, right? We talked about the two that matter, business and investing. Where can you go and invest $6,800 and within a month or two months, or maybe it takes you a little longer, six months, get a 100% return on an investment? Is it worth 
$6,800? Absolutely. We're not going to do it for $6,800. Pay close attention here because for those of you that are students, this is how you create an irresistible offer. This is how you break the price down to the ridiculous. And I'm doing this because this is based on what we've actually done. We sold this for $5,000. There are people probably listening to this right now who are pissed off because they invested $5,000 to learn this stuff. They're not very pissed, though, because they know they got it a year ago or maybe two years ago, and they're probably making a lot of money now. They made their investment many times over. We're not going to do it for $5,000. We've done it for $39.97. We said, you know what? Let's, do, let's keep this really exclusive. Let's do it for $29.97. However, Ray, Fernie, and I talked. We, are, we were going to do it for $19.97. This is actually the price we really did settle on. To make it more exclusive, we're going to keep it to 100 people, and that's it. So we thought, okay, let's do it for $1,997. And we said, well, now, what if we just doubled the amount of support we had? What if we invited people who attended the workshops to help us? Could we do it for more people? And the answer was, yes, we could. Maybe 250, maybe 300 people, maybe 400 people, if we get all, a lot of our past attendees that are getting results right now to help out with us, help with support and all that stuff. Could we do it for less? Yes, we could. Uh, so we're doing it right now for a very limited time for only 497 bucks. This gets you in the door to the most exclusive internet marketing event available anywhere called the No Excuses Summit. And here's the deal. It takes place in June. Uh, Ray will give you the exact dates. Ray, what are the exact dates? Let's see. They are June 27th, 8th, and 9th. So Friday, June 27th, Saturday, Saturday, uh, Sunday. June 27th through 29th, you get to sit down with us, get this put in place, and get our help personally looking over our shoulders as we set these things up and you follow along with us. And look, if you're on a budget, I'm going to take every excuse out of the way and we're going to give it to you for three payments of 177 bucks. This is a life-changing decision for you. We've had people selling aluminum cans to give this event. We had somebody who rode their bike to the event that lived locally. We had people selling stuff just to get to this event and past events and we're not, we never did anything as powerful as we're doing this time and we're still keeping it at this same price as we have in years past. That's amazing. So what do you need to do to lock in your spot right now and get there to Las Vegas, June 27th through 29th? You need to go to noexcusessummit.com forward slash go to. That's the number two. That's noexcusessummit.com forward slash go, the number two. For those of you that are ready right now to take action, to lock in your spot, uh, I'm guessing there's probably going to be a bonus that Andrew is going to do. Maybe. It's probably going to be limited. So before I, before he says anything, what he's going to offer, let me share with you what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, we just did a webinar like this. Uh, we offered this as a fast mover bonus. I don't think I'm going to do this. I don't know if I'm going to do this again for the next uh, time that I, I do one of these webinars. I want to keep this very exclusive because people have paid 497 alone for this. In fact, people have paid 997 for this. So it's called the Ultimate Sales Funnel. Remember all the checklists, templates, all that stuff that we talked about earlier? I'm going to give you every single one. This is the stuff we don't go over at the event, but everything, every checklist for doing everything as simple as setting up a capture page, including copywriting templates, all that stuff, which you will get at the event, you'll get right here as your reference guide. Everything for setting up webinars, all the sales funnels that you can imagine. I think there's over nine different types of sales funnels that you can set up. I give you blueprints, checklists, step-by-step uh, -step instructions, videos on how to set this stuff up, how to do sales letters, how to do webinars, all that stuff is yours. This is a bonus worth easily uh, $1,000. It's worth way more than that when you think about how many success stories this has created. I've given this to six-figure earners who've increased their business to seven figures. I've given it to seven-figure earners who've made multiple seven figures. I gave it to one person who used the webinar template and did six figures within a week of getting this course. That's how powerful this stuff is. So with the fast mover bonus, we're talking about over $7,000 in real world value. You've heard the success stories. You've heard the case studies. You've heard about results from real people just like you going to previous events that, just like this. Now it's your turn. Now it's your time to quit that freaking job. It's your, time, your turn to, to stop waking up to the alarm clock, to be able to do what you want, when you want, to be able to have a business that supports fun and freedom for you. Instead of creating a, a job for yourself, you're actually a, getting a real business. You're using leverage in your business, and you're, getting, you're creating a business around your lifestyle instead of creating your lifestyle around your job. 
So if you're in, if you're ready to say yes to your future, if you're ready to get started, to work with us one-on-one, -on -one, to get our help with implementing this stuff and get our guarantee, then it's time for you to take action and go to noexcusesummit.com forward slash go. Ray, do you want to say anything? Uh, Andrew, do you want to say anything? Yeah, I just wanted to jump in and, and um, you know, I was, taking, I was taking a bunch of notes there too. But the thing that, that really kind of, um, I think that, that, you know, needs to be said here is that I'm sure you'd agree with this, is that, you know, people become, I think, addicted to, uh, to gimmicks, addicted to, you know, kind of uh, failure, just kind of, kind of buying products. And they don't understand that the real action is in, is in the implementation. And if people just watch this webinar, like, four or five times, and then you go out and, 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 you know, you're able to implement it and you basically, you know, use that and set that up and, and go to no excuses and actually be forced into creating success. That's going to make more difference in your business than just about everything else. Even this year, you know, already we're in April and I look back at, at, you know, what I've accomplished in the, in the last four, um, you know, four months. And, you know, I, I got off on tangents. I got off on distractions. If I watched this on, you know, January 1st and just, you know, implemented that, you know, I would, I would have made more money this year, even just, you know, even just myself. And I think that if people just, you know, forget about the gimmicks and focus on what will really drive results, you know, and, and go in that direction. Um, and if you do that, then you're going to have that sustainable income that's going to allow you to have that lifestyle. It's going to allow you to, to do what you want to do. Like a lot of people don't know that, you know, um, just this, like last year, you know, my son was really sick and, you know, we took him to doctors in the States and all this stuff. Um, and we just did our taxes and we spent over $40,000 just in travel and, you know, medical expenses and, you know, stuff like that. And he's doing really great now. But the point is, I was able to do that. Marie was able to just take time off because we, we took the time to build a business because we built it sustainably. We built it on, on strong principles. And I just don't know how, how someone could go through life without, without setting up a business that's going to bring them that kind of income and that kind of lifestyle and that kind of, you know, stability. So anyway, brother... thank you so much for, um, for, for, uh, you know, doing the training. As I said, I got notes. Hey guys, awesome. let me uh, let me chime in really quick. Uh, I'm not one for hype. I mean, some of you guys know me. I don't actually say much nowadays. But I'll say this: the reason why No Excuses Summit Workshop actually started this was a few years ago was we saw how overwhelmed our industry is. We saw how people are basically going through the shiny object syndrome, buying products after products, and frankly, going through six to twenty-four months of doing absolutely nothing, and they either quit. Or they probably, hopefully, make the decision to actually do something. But six to twenty-four months is a long time. I say this from a position of experience because it took Fernando and myself about two years to finally say enough was enough, and we actually start taking some action. We stop just learning and getting what I call doing what we call part of my language intellectual masturbation, and actually execute it on some stuff we learned. And holy gazooks, that's when results actually happen. So the the workshop actually came from that concept. That understanding the pain industry, people are spending tens of thousands of dollars buying stuff and not getting any results. We challenge ourselves, well, what if we host a workshop where the intention is not so much us lecturing you guys, but it's us holding you accountable, giving you step-by-step -step action items that you can execute on in that weekend. And over the course of the next few years, as you, you know, Tim went over, the first workshop we had, you know, some modest uh, success rate from our students. As we went on for more and more workshops over the course of the past few years, we kept improving, improving, until we finally hit the peak of it of 100% success rate. And that's essentially what we're offering in this No Excuses event. It's not just an event. It's not just a show up, take lots of notes, and do nothing. Because you know what? That's what most people do. They show up to a live event like this thinking, oh, I just sit here, I get lectured, I take notes, they get excited, they go home, and guess what happens for the next two weeks? Nothing. This is a workshop. We take what we basically have crafted and perfected the past few years in terms of getting people to come, get prepared. That's why you will get pre-assignments before you come to the workshop, okay? This event, notes this summit. And we actually, not we don't just teach you, but we hold each of us accountable and actually make you take action. And that is why we have such a bold promise, as Tim has stated, 
basically saying, dude, you're going to get results if you do what we tell you. This is improvement. So hopefully you guys are on this webinar and not, you're not just an information junkie. I've been there. I've done that. And frankly, information junkie is fine, but understand just information alone doesn't make you money. It's actually the action that goes behind it. And Gnosis Summit 5 is committed to making you take action. And I say that also understand that that might be a little bit overwhelming for some of you because what we're putting on the table is in one weekend, most likely, you accomplish more than you have in the past 6 to 18 months. I know that was the case for many, many of our attendees who are past workshops. That might be intimidating, that might be overwhelming, but at the end of the day, I promise you, it'll be good for you. Absolutely, and I definitely want to take questions about the content, about the event itself. Um, I want to answer any questions that you might have, especially about the systems that we shared with you tonight and the processes and what it means to your business. Um, and also, for those of you that are on the fence for the event, um, I want to hear your questions because there's no reason if you really want to just check the box to online marketing and really get an understanding and do it and save yourself, like Ray said, months of time, you need to be there. You need to do everything you can to remove any excuses that might be standing in your way and take action. So I want to hear what reasons are standing in your way, what, what things that you see as obstacles. Now. For those of you who did take action, who did invest in No Excuses, I want to hear what pushed you over the edge and got you to say yes and say, finally, yes, I'm ready to do this, or maybe I'm ready to take my business to the next level if you're already getting results. What was it that pushed you over the edge? What about this made you say, absolutely, I'm totally in. Let's do this. Uh, the answer, Paula, is would there be a discounted price if I wanted to come with my spouse? Yes. On that page, noexcusesummit.com forward slash go, you can bring your spouse for just an extra 100 bucks. So essentially you're getting two tickets uh, for an extra 100 bucks. Um, so that's absolutely the case. And Christy, what pushed you over the edge? I like your guarantee about getting leads and traffic or your money back. Uh, but as you said, Traffic doesn't mean anything without the sale. I've been getting traffic with a couple of different sources, but I'm struggling with sales. Will this help with that? Yes, it will. Absolutely, it will. Uh, that's my passion. That's what I'm focused on. And, you know, when I look at people's sales processes, immediately I'm like, okay, that's, you need to change this, do that. And that's how well, most people are just a few tweaks of the knob, a few shifts of the dial away from getting their business to the level that they want to, that they actually start getting the kind of results that they want. And so that's stuff I love doing. Uh, can you post the link? It is noexcusesummit.com forward slash go. You should see it on your screen. Anyone else want to answer any questions? There's lots coming in now. Yeah, I just want to pop in with, with a couple of bonuses because um, you mentioned that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do is, is if, you, uh, if you go to No Excuses, um, we're going to build um, – uh, my my team's gonna build a a blog for you and do a custom header. You know, get get your picture. You know, remove the background. Just kind of uh, just kind of make it look uh, look really professional, and then uh, set that up. Configure that for for SEO and uh, and that kind of stuff. Because I think that that's a that's a good counterpoint to uh, to your sales funnel. It's good to have that nice you know central um, uh, place. Um, and also, you know, I redirect all my affiliate links through my blog, so it kind of you know builds builds a brand. We're gonna show you how to do that. Absolutely. Yeah. The second thing that we're going to do is I've got a couple of, of Facebook, um, Facebook videos that I haven't released. Okay. That basically just, you know, talk about, uh, uh Facebook traffic and, um, I'm going to give you those because I know that a lot of people, you know, um, you know, we do, we do some things that, that, uh, that, that, that are, are very effective on Facebook and you know, kind of need to be shown in like a screen share uh, uh, format because um, they're not necessarily not necessarily uh, easy to learn on the first view, but they are very effective and they are easy to do once you once you watch a video. So uh, I'm also going to be giving that to um, to anyone that, that that's bought a ticket to uh, to No Excuses. Wow, that's awesome! Really quick, how many of you guys got a ton of value from this uh, training? Be sure to, awesome, awesome, Casey, Chris, thank you. Um, be sure uh, to post on Andrew's page that you really enjoyed this webinar. Let him know. Um, 
and just you know help him with with social proof for for getting people on these types of events. Um, I'm glad you guys, for those of you that took action, congratulations, by the way, welcome aboard. I'm super excited to shake your hand and, and get to know you. And, uh, and, and really, um, I, 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 would, I would love to be able to help more people to, to get results in their online businesses. And I really think that it all starts with attending as many events as possible, from virtual to actual physical events. And there's one benefit that you get from attending physical events, events that you can't get anywhere else, and that's the relationships, that's the connections, that's the joint venture partners. That's finding people that maybe have strengths where you're weak and partnering with them or getting their help. Um, their connections have been made. Every event I've attended, uh, I've had a million dollar connection as a result, at least a six figure connection as a result. Something has resulted in six figures at every single event, whether it's something I learned, but typically it's someone I've met or, or a resource that I got as a result of attending these events. So that's another big benefit for you. By the way, was this an irresistible offer? <laughs> Chrissy says, um, haha, yes, this is my second time watching. I bought weeks ago, but wanted to watch the training um, because I half asked watched it the first time. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Jim, sold it. Yeah. Really quick, I want to, because I see some questions about people having, they're asking, oh, I'm brand new. Um, you know, is this for me? I also see some questions about people who's joined, you know, multiple MLMs. They try affiliate opportunities and hasn't, none of that has panned out. I want to share a quick story uh, about how Fernando I got started. And actually, this story, I think we told it many times, but I'll share it again. I'm not sure you guys have heard it. Basically, we spent about two years buying anything, everything under the sky. For two years, we're still engineers. This is back in our engineering days. And disgruntled and trying to get out, trying to quit. And like you, we went online. We found different MOMs. We tried different affiliate products. You know, bought a bunch of different courses. And here's the problem. We consumed those courses. We learned those courses. We got excited about techniques being taught in those courses. And specifically, I remember the one that really changed our course of, of perception was main sponsoring. We read about them. We would meet up on weekdays after our engineering job. We would meet up, get some food, and talk about how awesome all the stuff we learned was and how amazingly smart we feel because now we know copywriting. We know hours. We know how to do A, B, and C. We know how to make money. But here's the problem. We stopped there. We didn't execute any of that. We just got excited about knowing stuff. And again, that's what we are observing, you know, looking at our industry past several years, even today now, a lot, of, especially beginners, you're coming into this big, crazy land of the internet and getting overwhelmed with stuff. They're getting overwhelmed with information. What it comes down to is, guys, you know, internet marketing isn't difficult. There's some basic fundamentals you have to get through, which Tim talked about, traffic conversion and leverage. And it's about shutting out basically all this information you don't need, getting the fundamentals, locking down mastering the basics, and from there on build on it. From there, I finally started making headway, making progress. We decided enough was enough. We got fed up with just buying stuff. And I'm talking about we spent two years buying stuff. Do you know how much stuff you can buy in two years? I mean, look at go back through your credit cards, your credit, you know, your bank statements. Look at all the stuff you bought. Add that up. I guarantee you it's five figures. Ours was easy five figures. We said stop, enough with stuff. I challenge any and all of you, right? Before you buy a non marketing product, okay? Make a hundred bucks before you buy another one, because you don't need it. Okay. That's what we that's our intention of creating this workshop is. You know what? Let's forget all the forget about all the noise, all the fuck. Let's get in front of me, let's get to the basics. Let's show you how it's done. And let's make you do it in one weekend. Again, it guarantees it's in place because we believe in it. And uh, again, yeah, I you're basically going to get most likely, especially if you're a beginner, especially if you're being overwhelmed, being intimidated, you've been frustrated, spinning your wheels. You'll do more in that one weekend than you have the past six, 18 months. Yep. Bingo. Awesome stuff. So, guys, uh, Andrew has given you some awesome bonuses. I can't think of any, uh, any reason not to get started right now. Um, if you really are serious about uh, changing your future, you need to you need to take advantage of Andrew's generous bonuses as well as as no excuses itself. And here's the cool thing: is once you say yes, you get started today. Um, you become an affiliate as well. So as little as one sale gets you profitable. If you should know anybody who might benefit from this, and look, you can post one message on Facebook and say, "Hey, I'm going to this event. Um, you know, who's interested? Who wants to join me? I'm going to learn from these guys, or I'm going to learn these skill sets." You post one message and, and make your money back. So that's, that's, a, that's an opportunity for you as well. Um, this is something you do not want to miss 
if you want to master online marketing, if you want to get set up with the basics and actually get there and get it all done in one in one fell swoop, get it all done in one weekend, which as Raymond said would take you months of trial and error, then this is your time, your chance to act. So go ahead, go to noexcusesummit.com forward slash go to claim those fast mover bonuses and get started. And I look forward to seeing you guys in person, shaking your hands and all that good stuff. Do you have any closing thoughts or anything else that you want to answer? I don't know what other questions have come up since. Yeah, no, I think that's um, yeah, I think that's that's pretty uh, pretty awesome. Um, you know what you uh, what you talked about. I said I took a lot of notes, and uh, awesome. I'm excited to be uh, to be speaking down there and and teaching people about uh, about Facebook and about traffic, because man, I mean it's you know once you put this stuff in action, it just changes your life. You know, absolutely, man. Well said. <laughs> I guess this is a wrap. Then I'll let you close it off, man. Thank you all for having me here, and thank you, Andrew, for, for taking your time out of your schedule and, and uh, trusting us with your people. I know you don't do a lot of webinars like this, so really, really just humbled and honored to have uh, had the chance to really help and share with your folks and, and, and have your trust. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Ray. Thank Good you. Night.